Welcome back to another NFL recap video where I'm going to be recapping the best of Saturday's preseason slate, talking about Patrick Mahomes with this incredible behind the back pass, and then Caleb Williams drawing comparisons to the aforementioned Patrick Mahomes with his impressive play on Saturday, but starting things off, Daniel Jones in his first game since ACL surgery with that torn ACL last year, he's going to throw two picks and one of them is going to be to Petrie for pick six. The other one was a nice catch by Derek Sting but there can be some expected mistiming and miscommunication in the first game back. He was able to form a connection with Malik Neighbors, and they had a couple strong connections, so hopefully he just keeps progressing after that ACL as he's making his return. Caleb Williams let the NFL Twitter world on fire with this throw. He's rolling out to his left. He makes an across-the-body throw and drops in a bucket to fellow top-10 pick Roma Dunze. Tyree Kill, he played with Patrick Mahomes. He tweeted... Caleb Williams, so nice, he remind me of dot, dot, dot. Obviously, he was referring to Patrick Mahomes in this scenario, and a lot of people were saying there's only two people in the NFL that can make that throw. And then when he was in a third and goal situation, he's going to avoid a ton of sacks, also very Mahomes-esque, obviously. Bears fans have seen this with Justin Fields at times too, but he's going to punch it in for a touchdown. Speaking of Patrick Mahomes, he saw Caleb Williams do that, so he had to one-up him and remind him who won back-to-back -back Super Bowls as an incredible impro improvisation as he's going to throw a behind the back pass to Travis Kelsey and he was basically saying the only reason he even attempted that is because he was mad at Kelsey for running the wrong route obviously they were just joking around to his preseason maybe he doesn't pull this one out week one in the regular season but still of course knowing Patrick Mahomes he made it work and then Xavier Worthy after not touching the ball in his debut he had four touches for 73 yards he had a couple deep shots downfield he had a touch he also got a handoff, so that stuff is going to be a dream for Andy Reid to utilize Xavier Worthy's athleticism and speed. The Ravens are going to beat the Falcons today, and Michael Penix Jr. did not play in this game. Raheem Morris said that they loved what they saw out of him in limited action week one of preseason, and he's going to be shut down for the preseason, meaning he's not going to be playing next week either. Maybe they were scared by seeing a guy like J.J. McCarthy go down with a season-ending injury, but at the same time, if things go perfectly planned for the Atlanta Falcons. They have Kirk Cousins for the next three to four years at quarterback. If they have to move off him, it's at least two years guaranteed. So you would think if you want to give Michael Penix the best opportunity to improve, then these game reps could be a perfect opportunity. Obviously, there's joint practices too in practice, but nothing simulates those game reps. So definitely a controversial decision not to play him in the preseason. The Vikings lost J.J. McCarthy for the season. Sam Darnold wasn't playing today. But the players that were playing today balled out. That's going to be Jaron Hall. There are a couple other players trying to make a name for themselves. Tua Tagovailoa was absolutely slicing and dicing on the first drive of the game. He was 5 for 5 for 51 yards and a touchdown. Tua coming fresh off his payday looking for another big season in Miami. That's the best of Saturday's preseason slate.